Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan With Elise. Today, we are going to be planning, as usual. Now, usually I say we are gonna be planning for the week of, but I made an error, and you may have already caught it. A few days ago, I shared this video, creating a spread in my vertical planner, but my mistake, I can't believe such a planner mistake, is that I mix this, mess this up because the first of August is National Planner Day. And I messed up because I didn't do a National Planner Day spread and I want to. So I was really trying to figure out what to do. And ultimately, it seems to just make the most sense for me to redate this week right here for the following week and redate the following week for this week. So we've got to do a little bit more covering up here. And I just wanted to be able to like show you what I was doing in case you thought that we were duplicating this week's spreads, which I am not. So just kind of cover up the sides here. And it'll just be a little bit backwards for these two weeks. It's not, not that big of a deal, but it doesn't look great. It's okay. Some things are very important to me in my planner. This type of thing where it's like, oh, just switch the weeks, not that big of a deal. So we'll put these down, nine, 10, and 11. And this is using Mojo Jojo's Date It, um, the second version, I believe. Okay, so now that we have the fifth or 11th there, we are good and we can go back here. But before I date this, I want to get like the pages made because I'm not entirely sure what dating stickers I want to do. I just have to remember that the first is Thursday. So National Planner Day, I have the Kell of a Plan, Kell of a Fan Box, which is the planner love theme. And I thought that this would be really fun for this week. See, there's dates in here, which is part of why I didn't want to um, do the dating before I opened this. So I've been in like a very hexagon mood lately, and I think we're going to do something similar here. I've really been liking using hexagons in my planner. I feel like they're really unique in that because they, let's see how we want to do this. We're going to kind of go here because they tend to go over more than one box or more than one day, I can have a lot of fun adding in multiple things here. I mean, technically this is one day and this is another day, but I feel like hexagons just give me a little bit more of that creative space that I like to have in my planner and they look really good too. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna put these here and just kind of play around with them a little bit. And then let's take maybe the yellow and we'll do this. Let's see where I need to cut. We're gonna cut just above this. I think that should give me about the right angle there. Let's get this down. Hmm, I don't know if that was great. It was fine. Okay, so I think that that looks good. And then I wanna sort of do another round here or continue that way. Although this looks weird. I don't know why I have this over here. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense. I mean, it's where it would, it's not where it would go. I'm not even in a rush. I just kind of forgot what I was doing. So that's not where that goes. This goes right here. If I wanna continue it, which I do. So let's add in one more and we're gonna add this yellow here. Now, before I go to the other side, cause I have two pages of these, so I do have plenty. I wanna add in something fun about planning, like right over here. So I think that we'll do, I'm also a little bit rocky. I gotta give you that heads up. This is the first, um, creative video I'm filming since coming back from vacation in Montreal. And I say first creative video because I got home last night 
And I finished an after the pen video that you're probably, you've already seen maybe. I'm trying to think of my schedule. So it takes me sometimes a little bit just to like get back into the swing of things, but like remembering how to decoratively <laughs> set up my planner for the week. Okay, now we are going to come back with our hexagons on this side. So we're gonna kind of go on the top and then down here as well. But I don't know that I need necessarily as many. What I wanna be mindful of is that I'm getting them across the spread so that each day has at least one. That's what I needed to be sure I was doing. Otherwise, I feel like I would have kind of focused on clustering over here and that wouldn't have really worked because then each day wouldn't have had enough. So we'll put that right there. Let's add in this purple here. And with hexagons, you just kind of want to make sure that you're lining them up properly. I'm not always great at it. This one isn't as good as what I normally do, but I think that we're getting better. You could also cover up the lines underneath if you want to. Of course, that's always doable. I'm probably going to do some line combined, like covering up the lines that are in between these. Sorry, my words seem to be a little bit challenging today. And then let's see if this, where we can cut this teal one. I think instead of using the scissor, this time I'll use a knife just to get it to be really the right size. So I'm gonna bend this, and fold it down where I need to make the cut, and then we'll just slice right there. Perfect. Then we need, whoops, oh my goodness. I was just thinking about cutting my hand on camera and then I dropped the knife right on my lap. Luckily it did not have enough force to <laughs> cut me, but oh. All right, now we want this one here. Or I feel like I wanna do another right there. But what color then could I put? I think that this one I can probably cut here. I think that's the right height. Should have gone a little bit higher. So we need to do kind of one more slice of this. This is where the knife works better. But I'm a little scarred from the last time I cut my hand or my finger on camera and I really don't wanna do that again. And I'm feeling like a little jittery and I don't know that I trust myself with a knife right now. <laughs> that's not the right size, is it? Ah, that's the right side. Now for these smaller hexagons, I don't always fill them in. Sometimes there's something little to write here. Sometimes there's not. It's not one of those things that it's like, I have to write in this because there's a little one here. Sometimes it's just more for decorative purposes. Okay, so now we kind of have this hexagon pattern going down here, which I really like. And we have to add in the function because in case you are new to my channel, my spreads have to be functional. It is one of my <laughs> requirements for my planning. I need bullet points because I've got a lot of things that I keep track of, especially as I go into August. So I don't know that I've made this like announcement yet by the time you're seeing this video. I'm not quite sure. However, I do think that I'm switching to just using this planner and my dashboard planner as of August and only for August. And there are a couple of reasons for that. We're just gonna be careful with the knife here. One of the reasons is because my life has gotten really busy, especially in the summer. Um, my boyfriend's family has a house down at the Jersey Shore. We have been traveling a lot and we've been going down there. We've also been going on other trips and trying to manage seven videos a week, plus usually one to two Patreon exclusive videos and everything else that I have to do while working a full-time job is getting really, really difficult. 
And at least for the rest of summer, while I'm kind of navigating this new normal, I'm going to cut back on YouTube videos a little bit. That's my plan. I hope to be able to stick to it. I know that sometimes when I have an extra, you know, 30 minutes or something, I'm like, oh, well, let me just film a video. So that's my plan now. But the best way to force myself into it is by using less planners because then that's automatically um, less videos to film. It's also been challenging because I don't always know how to decorate my planner for a weekend because some weekends I know 100% that I'll be away. Other weekends, I'm not really sure of my schedule. And so having less space to decorate would probably help when I feel a little bit unsure of uh, what my schedule looks like. So anyway, I don't remember how I got into that discussion. I feel like I was talking about, I don't remember. I wish, I wish I did but I don't. So anyway, we are starting with, let's just forget that conversation, making sure I have the function in. Now that the function is in, I'm going to go through and date this because I can't think of what I have on any day when the dates are wrong. So I'm going to cover up using white pen because it's just a cleaner cover up when I do it properly than it is with correction tape. So we're going to cover these up. And luckily the date stickers that I'm using are circles. So they will definitely cover a little bit more than just the date, kind of the surrounding space. Okay, now confirming I need the 29th. So let's see, I think these are all Let's go this way, I feel like it, rather than just randomly in the middle of the page. So we're gonna do the 29th, 30th. July does have 31 days, so 31. And then we wanna do one, that one is purple. I think maybe all the ones are gonna be purple. So what I'm going to do is take from a 21 and I'm actually gonna just cut the two out because I don't want purple next to it itself. And then we'll take the green. Two, three, and four. Oh, I was talking about some of the reasons that I was cutting back. So one of the other things that I is in my mind, because this is my, I guess this summer is four years since I've had a YouTube channel. I know, as do many of you, that um, August, September is planner launch season. And I know that as a creator, it's going to be a very busy August, September. And so I feel like I really want to make sure I'm giving myself the extra time and room in my channel to be able to prepare adequately for those releases. Now, of course, <clears throat> I'm trying to decide what color I want to use here or what quote, but I really want to use one of these hot pink ones, but I don't want it next to this. So I think we're going to do it over here. Um, there's only so much of that I can control, right? I can't control what, when I receive product, sometimes there's delays and then there ends up being rushed content. So the content that I deliver and, and the reviews of new product is very much dependent on shipments and deliveries, but when those do come in, I want to be able to have the room to um, to share them with you and not feel like super rushed. So hopefully, I know that was a little bit of a long-winded explanation, um, but hopefully it made a little bit of sense if you start to see some changes come to my channel. I do plan on going back to my regularly scheduled programming in September, but we'll see what happens. Okay. She planned a life she loved. That's really cute. Then maybe we do something more. I want an actual planner in here. Do I have a planner there? I have that one. Let's take these purple ones because it is planner day. 
we're just gonna have to be a little bit cautious here because I don't wanna go too far over, but I can write small so we can have a little bit of this covered up. Okay, it's a lot, but I think it's fine. Um, down here, let's do something a little bit taller. So maybe we can do these tweezers and these pens. It's like good space for that. Now, let's make sure that I bring in a quote on the left side. You may have heard a little ding, which was my A-L-E-X-A -E giving me a reminder. That was literally the reminder it says, never mind, because halfway through setting the reminder, I said, never mind. And that's what, <laughs> that's what she caught. So I was setting a reminder for something for myself for today. And then I remembered that I was going to be filming when I had set that reminder for. So I tried canceling it, but she did not get the memo. Okay. Um, I'm going to take, I just want to plan and play with my stickers because sometimes it's what I want to do. It's just what I want to do. And then we're going to do some more fun decorative elements. Think over here. So we did that little stack of washi. Let's do another planner right over here and we can add a pen with it too. If I have the room, you can do it like right there. And then we have this little section. I already did craft. I'm assuming there's gotta be like plan in here or something, right? We have craft and love. We can do this love one right over here. Oh, but that's in the same planner there. No, I think that's okay. Or maybe I can switch what I put right there. Let's put this right here and we'll cover up this line. This box, I believe, is still available. So if you're interested, I will link it in the description. I can't guarantee the shipping, but I will say that um, if you are a Calvin Plan customer, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh. Excuse me, if you are a Calvo Plan customer, you know that shipping is quite quick. So it is possible you could get it in time for this. It just depends on, uh, of course, where you live and all of that. So, but this is something that you can have for next year if you didn't pick it up already, because I do feel like this type of sticker book is evergreen. All right, now. I like the idea of doing a top three for the week. So I think we're gonna put this right over here and then let's do one, let's, do, let's change the color up there. We'll do the green and then we can do maybe yellow. So those will be my top three for the week and we need something right over here. It's not really going to work to do another hexagon. So I'm wondering. I will say I don't like this here because we have it on Monday. So that was something that I had a feeling was going to happen. Pop that off and put something else in its place. Um, do I have a glue gun over here? I don't think so. So let's do a glue gun. Perfect. And then we just need one more thing right over there. Maybe another quote. Let's look for a taller sized or taller shaped quote. Plans are nothing. Planning is everything. I like that one. I'll put this right over here. Okay, I think we did it. I was a little nervous about like the switch up of the week and everything, but I think that this came out really cute. So wishing everyone a happy National Planner Day. Thank you for watching and for listening to me ramble as always, and for your support. And I'll see you next time.